All right, everyone. As you know, I play drums, and sometimes even on a channel called The Art of Guitar, I love doing drum lessons or things that involve drums. Mostly it's to play along to guitar licks and guitar riffs, but uh, the other day I remembered a beat that uh, completely stumped me, along with a lot of my other drummer friends, who are all professional drummers. Most of them are, I should say. And it was really interesting that that happened because... When you've been playing something for so many years, so many decades, usually you could hear a song and in your brain you can picture how to play it with guitar, with bass, piano, whatever, drums. And it got to the point where uh, I played this and I was just like, how is this drummer doing this? This doesn't make any sense. So what I'll do is I want to uh, show you guys, if you're a drummer, how to do this uh, beat, the impossible beat. Uh, but also, if you're a guitar player and you don't play drums, you can maybe uh, send it to a drummer that you know and see if they get stumped as well. So what I'll do is I'll first play the beat. I'll black the screen out so you can't see what I'm doing. And I want you to first hear what I'm talking about. So here are the elements in this beat. We're going to have a closed hi-hat. We're going to have a rim shot on the snare. We're going to have a kick drum. Those are the only three elements we're going to use. And uh, what I'll do is I'll play it slow first, and then I'll play regular speed. Like I said, we're going to black it out, though, so that you can't see what I'm doing. And then when we come back, we'll uh, talk about it. All right, here we go. All right, let's bring the video back. Now, it's a pretty interesting beat, isn't it? If you're a drummer, you understand why that's so wacky. Because, uh, you know, when you're doing a rim shot, you're pretty much committing your left hand, I'm right-handed, so I'll just talk in that context, to the snare. But you could also hear the hi-hat going really fast doing 16th notes. So it's like it's going while the rim is happening, one, two, three, four, on the, on the main count. So it's very bizarre. You do have the kick drum, but it's not that important in the context of why this beat is weird. So let's just focus on the hands for a while. So the first thought I had was maybe he's doing 16th notes with two hands and then reaching down and just hitting the rim shot with the right hand. But that's very, very difficult up, up to speed. You'd have to go like this. See, it just doesn't sound the same. It's just very sloppy. Someone could probably do it way better than I just did it. But I thought, no, there's no way he's doing that at that speed for that long a time. It just seems crazy. And if you slow the beat down on the recording, which I did, I was totally geeking out on this, uh, you could hear the hi-hat and the rim hitting at the same time. So that shoots that idea because you're reaching over to hit it so nothing's hitting the hi-hat. So like I said, I asked all my drummer friends, many of whom are professional musicians, and they were all stumped as well. They're like, wow, that's, that is kind of weird. I never really ran into that sort of beat before. How, how is he playing that? So there are no videos that I could find of him playing it live. So I thought I was just going to have to live with not really knowing. And then I got a reply from someone who was actually in a pop punk band. And since he's in a pop punk band, the type of beat I was trying to figure out wasn't really his style. So I was really surprised when he was the one who figured it out. And all he did was he sent a uh, quick little video of him playing a certain way. And I thought it was really mind-blowing once it finally clicked. I'm like, oh, duh, it totally makes sense. So thank you, Mike. At the time, he was in a band called Helen Keller, killer drummer, and uh, he got the right answer for me. So here's how you do it. You have to grab a third drumstick. That's why, you know, at first I was like, does this drummer have three arms? But really, all you need to do is hold two sticks in your hi-hat hand, we'll call it. Now you could tape it, you could do all sorts of things to keep it like a V shape, because the way I do it's very painful over time if you're not used to it. I actually just stick my index finger between like that. But it still, it creates this V shape, that's what's important, like that. Stick it like that so the hi-hat's in between and then you play up and down. Isn't that crazy? So then your other hand's free, obviously, to play whatever it wants. In this case, just on the main counts, we're going to hit the rim shot. Now the tricky part, hitting a crash. 
Because here's what happens. In the beginning of the beat, you hit the crash. Then you have to get this hi-hat in between your sticks. That could be very tricky. So if you listen to the recording of the song Revelation by Jimmy Green, uh, that's the artist, uh, the band, uh, the drummer hits a crash, and then there's a little bit of a pause, and then you can hear the hi-hat start. That's what kind of gave that away to me as well. Once I figured out the technique, I'm like, okay, now it all clicks. Because you have to hit the crash, get this here, and then the beat can begin. It can't be instantaneous, because it's way too hard to get those sticks in place. So it's a little bit of a, a rest there. It's like... So there we go. Mystery solved. Thanks again to Mike from Helen Keller for uh, coming up with that answer. And once again, that's the weird technique I'm using right there. Go see if you could stump some drummers, okay? We'll catch you guys at the next lesson. Bye.